Hi guys, this is Tech Enthusiast, and in this quick video, I will show you simple Windows 11 desktop customization. I hope you guys will follow along until the end because the outcome is really epic. With that said, subscribe and like this video if you haven't already, and let's get started. First, let's apply this wallpaper image which you saw in the intro of this video. First, I must admit that I got this static image from an actual live wallpaper. So if I go open my Firefox web browser, here you will see this website and you can also see that this image is basically playing right now so if you want you can get either the static image which will be linked in video description down below you can also scroll down on this website and get this mp4 file or this live wallpaper so if you have 1080p screen i highly recommend that you download this file or if you have 4k screen you can also download this one as well so once you got this mp4 file or this live wallpaper then you can also apply it using this completely free live wallpaper app called lively wallpaper which i will also put a link in video description down below for so yeah you can basically use this program and apply this mp4 file using lively wallpaper or if you have already wallpaper engine program then you can also use that one for the live wallpapers as well and then you can also apply this mp4 file i will also put a link in video description down below for this static image which i will right now apply for my desktop so at the top three dots click on the set as and after that select here background to set this image as the background image and after that i will repeat the process for the lock screen as well so with the wallpaper out of the way let's install the rain meter as well so here on this website click on the download to get this exe file and then click on the rain meter exe file click on run here click ok next here and then install after installation i will leave checked run rain meter and then we can click finish after that we already see some of the pre-installed widgets on our desktop so what i will do is right click and then unload skin and basically repeat the process for every single preloaded skin with that out of the way let's open the web browser once again and here we have the clock widget which i'm going to use for this tutorial now you will also need to have deviantart.com account and then you will also need to be signed in to be able to download from deviantart.com so after all these steps done you can click on this green arrow free download and then you will basically get this rm skin file after that you can also click on this file and here you should have a screen to be able to install Rainmeter skin. So here, click install. So if you, for example, don't see this screen, you don't have Rainmeter installed. So make sure that you have it installed. After that, let's open the Rainmeter in the system tray down below. And here I will go to the date and click on the date.ini file. After that, I will place it somewhere on my desktop. And then I will select here time folder and select here clock.ini file. After that, I will also place it somewhere on my desktop. Here, I will go to the settings. With the settings, you can then manipulate with width or the height of this widget and then place it somewhere else on your desktop. Here, I will, for example, place this clock between those two clouds as well as this state. Now, after that, I will rule up and here I will select here the uh, number image height to, for example, let's say 120. After that, I will press enter. You can also see that this time widget actually got smaller. But if you want, for example, you can also choose between all of these presets if you want to. But keep in mind that the user preset is the most customizable. So with that out of the way, we can also apply some of the colors to this widget as well. So with the user option selected here, I will go here to the clock colors. Here I will select background top color to something, let's say something more blue. Let's say something like this. Click on this check mark and you should be good to go. And you can also see that the colors actually change. Now I will also apply the background bottom color to something more green. So I will move this slider to the tops like so and then 
press this check mark. Now for the date, we can also apply the sizes. Scroll down here, down below, and here you will also see the bubble width and also the bubble radius. So here we will need to change some of these parameters. So from, from 555, let's select here 300 and press enter. And this will make basically this date a whole lot smaller to fit the gap between all these clouds. Now I will also select here bubble radius to let's say something like 30. Now we can also select the primary font size and secondary font size. So for example, I will go down in the font size like so and uh, also in the secondary font size like let's say so so it fits this clouds really nicely so i'm okay with this configuration so here you can also change the primary font color and secondary font color so with the secondary i will go with the black color like so and then for the date i will go with the blue color as well so something like this and then you can also press the check mark so this is basically it for the clock and the date widget now let's open the firefox once again and here i will install this mii power ray meter skin so here i will click on the download and select this arm skin file click on the install and after that let's open the ray meter from the system tray and here i will select the power folder and select here white option dot any file so here i will put it somewhere here at the bottom but basically what this widget does it enables the feature to shut down or restart or sleep your computer from this widget which i find quite handy so with that out of the way let's install this battery widget so i highly recommend if you have the laptop that you use this widget as well so here let's click on the download and click on hard pixel battery widget let's click on the install here and this should install this widget. Right now, I will open the Raymeter from the system tray once again, go to the hard pixel battery, and I will select here vertical.ini and place it somewhere here. So this is basically the battery indicator on your desktop in the shape of the heart. Now, after that, let's install the last widget for today. And this one is called modular players for this now playing indicator on our desktop. So here I will go to the releases tab and select here modular players.rm skin file. After that, let's click on the RM skin and select here install. Here, you will also need to install another Ray Meter skin, which is called Jack Score. So you will click here to install, and this will basically download and install this required Ray Meter skin. After that, you can also press here skip this tutorial. And here I will immediately go to the library, click on the modular players here, and on the top, select enabled. After that, I will go here to the general, select this bottom Windows 11 style. Here I will go to the style options, select here blur variant to standard as well as rounding to the standard as well. Now for the background color, here I will select 255, once again 255 and 255, then you should press enter so the background will be white as well. And now for the widget scale, I will select here 0.75 and then press enter. Now I'll place this widget somewhere here and once you have basically any song playing or video playing, you will see it right away here on your desktop. So yeah, this is pretty much it for the ray meter and the skins. Now let's apply some modifications to the taskbar as well. So here open the Firefox and let's install the start all back. Here, click on the exit file and click on the run. After that, I will click here, install for everyone. So right away, you should see some changes being made on your taskbar. So with that out of the way, let's go here to the welcome screen, select here proper 11, and I will go here to the taskbar. Here I will select centered task icons. I will also select here segments. And here I will select here just central segment. Now this is basically it, but if you want, for example, transparent taskbar, you can also enable here dynamic transparency, which will make this taskbar transparent. So 
yeah this is pretty much it for this tutorial all the required files are linked in the video description down below so you can download and then follow this tutorial and uh, if you enjoyed it subscribe and like to this video would be highly appreciated so if you want you can also buy me a coffee on coffee.com link in the video description and with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next one peace